Bamoon has fallen into a deep coma, and his prognosis is quite grave. I'm sure that your physicians have come to the same conclusion. He appears to have sustained a serious injury in his youth, which has been exacerbated over the years by the heavy burden of work and now by the effects of old age. Regretfully, I must inform you that, based on what I've seen with patients in a similar condition, he doesn't have long left. A few days at most. Yeah. I've known for a long time. You're his heir, aren't you? You clearly have a lot of respect for the man. But you also see things differently. You have a broader range of concerns and a more pragmatic approach. So tell me how we can end this on your terms. Let's find a way to bring all this to a resolution while Bamun is still alive to see it. That's what really matters to you. I know it. Yeah, there's no time to waste here. You know that better than anyone. <sighs> You know, the two of you are actually in a very similar predicament right now. Both of you have a very different perspective from the men who raised you. Right. And you didn't create this situation. They did, but somehow you've ended up having to make the tough decisions. You're right. We both look at this problem very differently than the people we inherited it from. I accept, Sino. This all began because of Hermanubis, so let's end it with the right he himself created. Legend has it that when Hermanubis first arrived in Tuletula, he sparred with the city's residents. He and his two companions proved their mettle by fighting over several days, winning the support of many fine people. That group of supporters were some of the first members of the Temple of Silence, and the sparring matches were enshrined as one of our founding rights, the right of duels. It's where it all began. Sounds very fitting. I'm in. As a fellow vessel of Hermanubis, your ties to the Temple of Silence run deep. So I will permit you to participate in this rite, along with your chosen companions. Three against three. Sounds good. However, I have some additional terms. As the challengers, you must win all three of your fights to win. And Sino? Both of us must put our Ba fragment on the line. The winner takes them both. Letting Cyrus leave with one of the Ba fragments was a mistake, made by my grandfather out of pity. It is a long-standing issue that must be addressed for the Temple of Silence to move forward. I can make no concessions on that front. None needed. We're on the same page. If I win, the Temple of Silence must release Cyrus, and consider this past dispute resolved. If you win, I'll return my power to you. It's a deal. Then let's meet at the Ceremonial Hall tomorrow evening, 8 o'clock. You've got what happened is searching for your answer.
fight's over, do you yield? <sighs> you won. Well then, looks like you found your answer. I give his glory to you. <sighs> I've seen that light. That is the light of our Lord, the great Hermanubis priest over all other priests. His spirit dwells within that lightning, and his will lives on. Once a warrior of Tynar, he emerged from the barren desert sands to serve the god-king Al-Akhmar. After the death of the god-king, Hermanubis gathered his followers and the Tynarian priests and led them to the city of Tule Tula. There, they founded the Temple of Silence. And from that day forth, we became stewards of all knowledge that survived from King Deshret's civilization. Barely a century passed before war ravaged the desert. One by one, Aramite leaders took up arms against each other in battles that would devour what little remained of their civilization. Only the wise city of Tule Tula was spared under the guiding hand of the Tynarians. But peace did not last. Coveting the knowledge of King Deshret, the beasts set their eyes on Tule Tula. The king of Gurabad laid siege to the city and ordered the sages to surrender to him the Temple of Silence as proof of his victory. The ruling elite colluded with their oppressors, betraying the temple so as to hold on to their rule over the city. They declared that the knowledge guarded by the temple was the true cause of corruption. These were dark days, and we faced enemies on all sides. Our Lord had long since exhausted his strength keeping the forbidden knowledge introduced by King Deshret at bay. To ensure the temple's continued survival, he broke his being into many pieces and began the ceremony of Hermanubis's legacy, bestowing his power upon his mortal followers. With this power, the temple was able to defeat the tyrant's army. Yet, we were not hailed as heroes. Strange and unfamiliar as this power was, it struck fear into the people's hearts and drove them to reject us. In the end, the people of the temple and the Tule Tula Tynarians left the city for good and made their way to the rainforest. What followed next was inevitable. The elite of Tule Tula fell and were decimated. War engulfed the desert. And we wandered from place to place, always in hiding, all the while keeping close watch over our secrets and staying true to our mission. Betrayal forced us out of the desert and into the forest. Then mistrust drove us from the forest into the desert once more. We have lived in exile for far, far too long. Yet, today, the Temple of Silence has borne witness to the glory of Hermanubis once more. Thank you.